When I was told today I was coming to Chilton for a smoke, I was delighted. But then I found out it's actually somewhere called Smoke Coffee. But equally as delighted because Katie has told me, hi Katie, that I need to come down here because they do amazing bagels and delicious coffee and they smoke the stuff that goes inside the bagels like the fish and the meat. This I am very happy to check out. So come on, let's go and have a little smoke again. <laughs> Morning, John. Hi. How are you, mate? Yeah, good to meet you. This place is great. Oh, thank you. I love it. Tell me a little bit about it, then. Uh, so it's a coffee specialist, um, bagels, fresh every day, make our own meats, make our own fillings, make our own salt beef, uh, cured 10 to 30 days. So. Wow, this is my sort of place. I can tell already you take your coffee very seriously. That's it. It's all quite simple, but um, effort's been put into it. I'll tell you what, as well, I parked around the corner, and as soon as I stepped out onto the street, I could smell that smoker. That's it, we've got some chicken smoking out in front now. So yeah, well, I'll tell you what then, should we go and eat some? Yeah, sounds good. Let's do that, John. Nice one. Can I just start by saying, it's been beautiful in Manchester for two weeks. <laughs> but one day we come here and sit outside and it's... That's it, got to pick the day. Yeah, we, in the and we didn't pick the day, did we? <laughs> However, I've got a feeling this is going to warm me up because the spread looks fantastic, John. Joel's getting involved there with a the close-up. Um, I'm going to go straight for this salt beef. Yeah, go for it, man. Have, have you seen this? <laughs> have you seen that? And then there it is in the bagel. Talk to me then, John. Tell me about this salt beef. So salt beef, uh, we buy in whole briskets, cure them for 10 to 30 days, uh, down in our basement down there. And then it, we braise it in a uh, veg stock. It's usually just braised in water. We do it in a, a veg stock. Oh, man. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Ah, oh, thanks. Loads of mustard on there. Is it like a mustard mayo, that? It doesn't seem too strong. Mustard mayo, yeah, yeah. We've got an American as well, so it's French's. Sauerkraut? Yeah, that's it. Really nice sauerkraut as well, not too vinegary, because sometimes it can overpower. That's it, I mean, there's a lot on there, but you've got the pictures as well. And this is what it looks like before you put it in. And just look, look at that. This is absolutely, I could just eat a bucket of this. <laughs> That's it. And so what's the actual process? Uh, it's a brine, so it's the way you do sort of bacon, hams, that kind of thing. Um, quite an old school British thing to do. Um, you know, big in the 1950s and making a resurgence now. You can keep filming if you want, but this is all I'm going to do for five minutes. <laughs> We're going to get round to the sides in a minute, but the main event for me is your smoked chicken. Yeah. Look at this bagel. Are you getting that? Hello. Where are the bagels coming from, by the way? Uh, so the bagels are, they're baked locally down in Openshaw. They've got keys to the premises. Have they? Yeah, yeah, they literally come in five in the morning, um, ready for us to, to crack on, basically. Oh, that smokiness. Yeah. Not overpowering? No. And you smoke them all here, in-house? In-house, we've always done it in-house. We got a new smoker recently, actually. That's the smoker? That's the smoker just there, yeah. I've walked past that about three times today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we go and have a look? Of course we can, yeah, yeah. Come on. So, this is where you do all your smoking. You put it in here. So can I? Yeah, man, just watch the smoke as you open it. It's like, um, yeah, it's like getting pepper sprayed. Watch your beautiful eyes. eyes, boys. Watch your eyes. Oh! <laughs> so can I try some of this? fresh out the smoker. Yeah, go for it, man. This is exciting. It doesn't get much more fresher than this, does it? Right. Excuse fingers. Blood. Let's come out. Let's come out. Want some as well? You can go, little mate. Yeah, you can smell it. You can smell it in the kitchen, literally, like, um, yeah, super smoky, man. I mean, this is like attacking all the senses because I'm here eating it, fresh out the smoker. <laughs> it. It's going up my nose, it's in my eyes, it's going into my ears. Look at these two, look how happy they are. <laughs> 
So how long would something like this typically be smoked for? Uh, three hours we go for now. It's absolutely awesome. You can control exactly how much smoke's going in. Um, it's on a timer. You can literally set it so once you know how long to smoke everything, oh. turn it on, crack on with your day, get it out, it's all done. Idiot proof. Idiot proof. Yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd still break it. <laughs> Sides, John. Yeah. Sides. So we keep it simple, but there is effort put into it. Purple slaw, uh, purple cabbage, fennel, white cabbage, dill, uh, pickled for three hours, gets rid of some of the water, pour it out, uh, and then, yeah, dressed. You do things properly, don't you? That's it. It's a simple menu, but like even the sauces, everything's made in-house. Oh, wow. Where's that sweetness coming from? Uh, the sweetness is the dill. It's also pickled with a little bit of white sugar, actually. Just a tiny little bit. Yeah. yeah. It helps get the moisture out of it. Now, Talk to me about this, potato salad. Yeah, so this is a vegetarian potato salad. We smoke the garlic in our smoker for oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, smoke the garlic. We smoke the chilies for the harissa as well. Uh, it's got cream cheese in it. It gives it just an extra, like, that yeah. dimension. You wouldn't know what it was if you tried it, but it's like creaminess, do you know what I mean? Job. That's it, man. I'm a big fan of a, a potato salad. Yeah. I love it. And that is one of the best I've ever tasted. And no, I mean thanks, that. Man. Cheers. I mean that. <laughs> Have a look at this little lovely coffee art. Ananda's just whipped these up for us. Um, and we've not spoke about your coffee. You take it very seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got four different grinders behind That's the it. counter. So it's a VA Eagle One. Uh, coffee geeks will know what I'm talking about. Malconig E65 grinds by weight to uh, 0.1 grams. In English, man, what's that mean? Uh, it means just nice really, coffee. Really good coffee. <laughs> and it's our own blend as well. So we, uh, we get our own blend delivered to us every Friday fresh. Ooh. Yeah. That's very nice. And what goes better with a coffee than a nice cake? What's this brownie? Brownie baked, um, yeah, baked fresh. Here? Here. You make yeah, your yeah. own. We I make all our own cakes. Bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, a vegan brownie, vegan biscoff brownie. I know this doesn't matter, but I always say it. I wouldn't know that was vegan. No, no, no. I'd have no idea. What a day this has turned out to be. <laughs> hey, never mind the weather. Get stuck in. You having something? Yeah, nice one. Thanks, Thank Tom. You. Come on, let's see, boys. Come and have some bagels and some meat. <laughs> Amazing coffee, delicious bagels. That's what Katie recommended about this place. What she failed to mention was how good the sides were and how good the bakes are, all that they make in-house. I'm now a big fan of smoke. I adore it. I suggest you come down and check out that salt beef. And talking of checking out, if there's somewhere you want us to go, make sure you leave a message below. Let us know your favourite place and we could be visiting there next week. <laughs> <laughs>